Hi guys, I'm Matthew, your VB Tutor. So, I had a comment on one of my videos recently where someone was speaking about a pain point with working with files on the OneDrive. So if you're not familiar, basically what OneDrive does is it turns all of your file paths into essentially a URL. So when we come in here, so this, this um, example file I've got, this is saved on a OneDrive location. In here, if we go uh, in the immediate window, we just put a question mark and we do this workbook dot path. In here, you'll see that we've got this URL kind of thing. So we've got HTTPS, DDocs, live net, right? So this means that we can't actually access this, this path from within VBA. And I can show you that if we do full name, that's the full name of this file. And if we use DIR, we should be able to pass in DIR of a regular path and it will just show essentially this. It will read just that file name out of the path. We do that though, and it gives us a runtime error. So this file is, is stored here in the OneDrive and you can see it's just in C users snowy OneDrive documents YouTube. So we've got this file sitting here in, in that directory. If we instead copy this, this file path, and if you didn't know how to do that, you hold shift while you right click, and then you get this copy as path option. And if we go back to here and then we put that path in the directory, you'll see that we actually get the correct answer or the correct result. So how do we turn this into this so that we can actually handle that properly? So I've got a simple method for doing this. It's a simple uh, single function that you can, uh, I typically export this into a central location. And then in a lot of my projects, whenever I'm dealing with uh, file paths, I will just import this into the project. So we right click here, go insert module. And I'll just call this mod file handler. You can call it whatever you like, of course. So in here we'll do public function. And I'll just call this get local path. And we pass in a path name. So file path, the string and return that as a string. So in here we'll dimension just a part called OneDrive part. So we'll go dim OneDrive part as a string. And then for that, we'll set OneDrive part equal to, and we'll just set it to this bit here, right? Except the only thing we're gonna do is change those forward slashes to backslashes. And I'll explain why in just a moment. And we'll put a trailing backslash on that as well. But the first thing we're going to do is change our file path to change all the forward slashes like this into backslashes. We'll do file path equals replace file path. And then we just go find all the forward slashes and change them to backslashes. Right now, if we We'll just do a quick test function so we can see what we're doing as we're going. So like sub test path. And we'll go debug print get local path. And we'll pass in the this workbook dot full name. Okay, so if we run this, you'll see this file path currently has all these forward slashes. Now it has all backslashes. All right. Next thing we want to do is check if the OneDrive part is in the file path string. So we do if in string file path and check if the OneDrive part is in there. So if it's in there, then um, do greater than zero because this returns a, a number. So we'll just check if that's greater than zero. Then what we need to do is first, we need to replace the OneDrive part with nothing from our file path. Okay. So that's going to be 
file path equals replace file path and remove one drive part with nothing. Okay, so just checking how that's going. Have a look here, the file path has the full URL and now it's just got that that little bit of information there, the 2F8 blah 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 blah. So that's your identifying number with uh, with Microsoft with OneDrive. But we don't need that for our path. So, and just to sort of hold this there, I'm just gonna print that. So that's that's what we're looking at at the moment. So what we need to do is now remove this part of it. So to do that, all we need to do is find where the first backslash is. So we'll get that by doing file path equals right file path. And then we get the length of the full file path minus in string file path and backslash. So we'll have a look and see how that's going. Oops, that should be len, not length. All right, so now we've got this. So this starts with that with that backslash. Now goes documents, YouTube, OneDrive example. If we have a look here, that's what this is. Documents, YouTube, OneDrive example. All right, so then we want to, the final thing we need to do is then just to add the environ, so the environ, this is a Microsoft sort of environment variables. And in this, it has something called the OneDrive consumer, which gives us the file path to our OneDrive path, right? So you'll notice this doesn't end with a backslash. And right now our file path doesn't have a backslash at the front of it. So all we need to do then is just add in that backslash and append our file path. And if we just return that now, so we do get local path equals file path. And we run this, we test this. You see, we get the full path of the current workbook, or if we go full name, if you go full name, you get that full example path. Now this can be used anywhere that you'd normally use a file path. So um, for example, if you want to do application workbooks so open file path. Now we obviously can't open up the current file path. So what we can do is we refer refer to the path in this YouTube directory. I've also got this recording workbook from my poker game or my blackjack game. So We'll refer to that, so we'll go copy as path, or actually we just need the file name. Then we append a backslash and that file name. And you'll see, oops, not file path, file name, my mistake. So you'll see this will jump in here. It'll grab the correct file path. Our file path now is the local file path, not the OneDrive file path. And then it just appends the backslash and recording workbook. You can see that opened up our poker game. You can also do um, a dir check. You can do dir check that. Uh, debug print that. So see that that comes through just fine. So yeah, that's a quick and easy way to convert a OneDrive path to a local path so that you can actually use it in VBA because these are starting to happen more and more often where you get this, um, this OneDrive file path and particularly when you're sending an, a document out to a client or to someone else, they might put it in a OneDrive path and you just need to make sure that you're handling that properly.
This way that you make sure that no matter where your file is stored, you're always going to get the correct directory. If this helps you out, then please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Um, I've also got this workbook and a bunch of other stuff over on my Patreon. The library is now sort of really starting to build up. So if you'd like to become a um, like to become a member, you get access to all of that stuff. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. This is your VB Tutor signing out.